Um, thank you, Excellency. Today, I'll read a statement. In fact, I have a small speech to our presidential candidate and indeed the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Ruto. I say it before you and country. I am honored by the responsibility and faith you have bestowed on me, you have bestowed upon me to be running with for the most defining election in Kenya's history. It is a responsibility I take pride in, knowing too well the elevation and esteem that my nomination occasions, but most importantly, one that also humbles me, that you put your trust in me, together with our colleagues, to deliver Kenyans from economic oppression. Your Excellency, the Deputy President, party leaders, President, governors, members of parliament, ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the greatest, the greatest days of my life. And with humility, I'd like to thank Almighty God for the gift of life, good health, and the favor he has shown me. Many of us in this alliance know that without God, we would not be where we are today. We have seen challenges turn into opportunities before us, hurdles we did not think we could surmount at the time have disappeared behind us, and I do not take it for granted. God has been gracious, and we give him all the glory. I know there are many in our alliance who are qualified for this position, and any one of them would have been up to the task. Your Excellency, our Deputy President, the trust and confidence you have shown in me is a privilege, and I'll do my very best to live up to those expectations. Thank you, Your Excellency. I will not let you down. I will not let the Hustler Nation down. I will not let the people of Kenya down. In this journey, one needs a mentor like the one you have been to us. One needs colleagues and friends like the ones with me here today and elsewhere. And most importantly, one needs family that provides a pillar in the that equipped us with the right tools. Indeed, from the grass thatched house, I stand here today with more than 30 years of public experience. I have been to and worked in every part of Kenya and understand the challenges that face our people in this beautiful country. More importantly, I am confident that a determined government working with all its citizens can overcome and override the obstacles that hold Kenya back. Today, many Kenyans wake up early and sleep late, but they rarely benefit from the work of their hands or the sweat of their brow. The tools to bridge that gap are lacking. This is the plight of the Hustler Nation. Today, the ambitions of many Kenyans are frustrated and cut short owing to the criminalization of enterprise. We must free the work environment and enterprises, big or small, from harassment, seizure of goods, and prohibitive fees. I cannot wait to work with you, Your Excellency, on the guaranteed minimum return for our farmers. Tea, milk, coffee, mira rice, maize, cotton, cashew nuts, among other horticultural produces. Others must now become the chicken that lay the golden eggs. Your Excellency, under your leadership, I believe we can this, take this country to the next level. Your story has been an inspiration to hustlers and all of us 
all over Kenya, and I'm no exception. With the team you have assembled, I believe we have what it takes to realize the dreams of the Hustler Nation, and it will be a great honor for me to play my part, and that I will. God bless Kenya. Congratulations, my friend. Okay, Susanna.